The adaptive set is a very versatile set in dungeons, and almost everybody wants it, whether it be for a mage, a berserker, or even a healer. Luckily for you, adaptive prices are extremely low compared to something like Superior, so it'll be much easier and faster for you to get it. But make sure you subscribe to support the channel so we can hit 15,000 subscribers. There's a few things that I have to preface before going into the guide. First of all, all the money you will be making to buy the adaptive set will be made through Dungeons itself. The reason for this is because if you look at an adaptive piece, you'll see that for every 5 Catacombs levels, you gain a plus 2% stat. This means that if you do more grinding of dungeons, you'll get more Catacombs XP, and that will in turn make your Catacombs level higher. So, grinding for the armor through dungeons obviously will make it so once you get the set, it will be better than if you grinded the money through Zlots or some other money making method. Secondly, I will not be recommending grinding for the adapted pieces straight from floor 3 because I believe most players won't be able to reliably grind it unless they have an adaptive set or they're getting carried. So in this video I will be only going over how to grind the earlier floor. But now that that's over with, let's go over the prices for each item in the set. I'll be using lowest bin prices of each item as a benchmark. But remember, you can get it for a little bit cheaper if you buy it from a straight auction. Adaptive boots are only about 1.1 mil. Adaptive helmets are about 2 mil. Adaptive leggings are about 3.4 mil. And finally, adaptive chest plates are about 12 mil. This puts the final price of the entire set at around 18.6 million coins. The way you'll be getting this is by grinding the first floor of the catacomb. I recommend when doing this floor, to do it as fast and effectively as possible, that you get two mages or more that are all wearing at least very wise dragon armor and maybe a loving wise dragon chestplate or a necrotic reform. This would be very easy to do, especially if you have something like an aspect of the dragons or a pigment sword, as its abilities will deal a lot of damage to the low level mobs in floor 1. The item that you'll be striving to get while running all these dungeons is the Bonzo Staff. The Bonzo Staff sells for around 7 million on the AA and costs about 2 million coins to open the chest if you do end up receiving it while running dungeons. So, this will in turn give you a profit of about 5 million coins. This money making method revolves around you getting the Bonzo Staff at least once in about 3 hours of grinding. My fastest time on 401 is about 3 minutes and 25 seconds. Considering you have to get an A rank to even receive the Bonzo Staff, and that there's a lot of different possibilities in dungeon structure, I would guess that it'll take you about, on average, 5 minutes to complete each dungeon. I think you'll be able to do about 10 runs in 1 hour, assuming that you get a 1 minute buffer between each run. If you do this for about 3 hours, you should be able to get about 30 runs done in a day. The reason we need to know how many runs you can do in 3 hours is because each run, even if you don't get the Bonzo Staff, you will always get at least one of these books. Obviously, you can get lucky and get a hot potato book for about 25k, but in average, you'll get about 50,000 coins in profit every time you do a dungeon run. So, if you end up getting this many coins in 30 runs, you'll end up getting an additional 1.5 million coins excluding the Bonzo stack. We will then add the amount of money your minions make. So this can range from 1.5 mil to 2 million coins. Adding all these money making methods together, you should be making about 8 to 8.5 million coins a day. The relative amount of time it should take you to get this full set is about 7 hours. If you do 3 hours a day, you should be able to get it on your third day after only 1 hour of extra playing. As you can see, on a 4-1 run, A, I got about 54 Catacombs experience and 55 of Classic experience. So if you were to do this 30 times, you would end up making about 1.6k XP, which is not that bad considering it requires much less XP to level up Catacombs level versus other skills. So if this video did end up helping you get yourself a set of adaptive, please consider subscribing to support the channel. And goodbye.